In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the fast forward effect. Now, I'm doing this in iMovie 11 because iMovie 11 comes with another way to use the fast forward effect. It's actually a quicker way to use it. But if you're not using iMovie 11 and you're using iMovie 9, for example, you can still do the fast forward effect. You just have to go through the inspector tab. So let me show you how to do it. So I have this clip down here in my project timeline, and all I'm going to do is click on this clip and come up here to clip in the iMovie menu bar, and you'll see the word fast forward. Now it gives me four options, two times, four times, eight times, or 20 times. So basically, that's how fast I can make that fast forward effect happen. So for this example, let's just go ahead and do eight times. So you'll notice now that it shortens my clip down here in the project timeline, and that's because it's added the fast forward effect to it. So now if I click to play this back, you'll see how quickly it plays back through that clip. Now if you don't have iMovie 11, you don't have this clip fast forward option. So how do you do this fast forward effect? All you need to do is double click on your clip, and in the inspector tab, you'll see the word speed. Now all you need to do is change the speed by either dragging this slider to the right or by typing a percentage here in the percentage box. Now you can see when I slide this slider that it actually changes the clip down here in the project timeline. So as soon as you have it to where you want it, all you need to do is hit done. And just like that, you've added the fast forward effect to your video clip. Now let's say for example you don't want to add this fast forward effect to your entire video clip. Once again you can just select a portion of the video clip that you want to have fast forward and then still come up here to clip, hit fast forward and choose the speed that you want it to be. And as soon as you do that you'll see that your clip down here in your project timeline has been broken up into three pieces. The middle piece is the fast forward effect. The beginning just plays at normal speed and the end finishes off the clip at normal speed as well. And so if we play that back, you'll notice as soon as it gets to the fast forward, it speeds up and then it slows down once again. So that's just another way to add that fast forward effect to your video clip. Now if you're using iMovie 9, you won't be able to just highlight part of a clip and come up here to clip fast forward because you don't have that option in iMovie 9. So what you're going to have to do in order to do that same thing if you just want to select part of the clip to receive the fast forward effect is you're going to have to split the clip first. So let me show you how you would do that. You're just going to want to click on the clip, right click, and hit split clip. Then you're going to want to find the next spot, click there, right click, hit split clip. So as you can see now, your clip has been split in three different places. So now if you double click on this middle section, you can now change it to that percentage. And if we play that back, you'll see that the fast forward effect works in the exact same way. So if you're using iMovie 9, just remember that you're going to need to split your clip before you can add the fast forward effect through the inspector tab. Now let's say for example you're not happy with that fast forward speed. You want to change it so it's either quicker or maybe even a little slower. All you need to do is double click on it to open it up in the inspector tab and here you'll see the speed that it's currently at. Now you can go ahead and just change that if you want it to be a little bit slower or if you want it to be quicker you can type in another value into this percentage box and hit done and just like that you've now changed the speed of that fast forward clip. That's how you do the fast forward effect in iMovie.